Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Small Talk Sunday. Pour yourself a cup of tea and maybe grab a cookie. And let's see what's going on in the workroom today. It all started last spring with a box of abandoned doll furniture. And come November, hopefully I'll have a build that looks somewhat like this, or as close to it as I can get. I still have quite a few little skewers left from 4-H, so let's see what we can do with these today. We're going to be using the skewers and toothpicks. I'm going to give everything a light sand so it'll accept the stain. I'm just using dark oak for these today. This is Peaches and Cream Crochet Thread. It has about six plies and what we're going to do is we're going to take the plies apart so that we can bring it down to 112 scale. The little card is about two and a half inches and we'll wind it and we'll cut both sides in half. I'm going to double some white thread. I'll lay it gently underneath the peaches and cream thread. I'm going to put the mop stick right down the center and add glue. Then I'm going to tie it in the middle. Then we're just going to gently pull the mop down over the thread and overlap everything and give it a natural look. to trim and then we're done. How simple and how sweet. Now we're going to repeat this process with a toothpick and we're going to make a dish mop. I'm going to shape the toothpick just ever so slightly. And then we're going to separate the plies just as we did with the floor mop. Lay them down, put glue in the center, and put the handle in with the fibers. Add some more glue. Put another layer of fibers on top. Then take your doubled thread. If you use outdoor thread, that's even better. Tie it in the center. And the glue will seep through and it will hold this tight. Double knot it. And you can add a little extra glue. And then just draw down the fibers over the top of the little mop. Trim off the excess fiber and you're all set. I use this mason jar to soften wood for making furniture and other small decorative items. I'm going to take the straw from this whisk broom and I'm going to soak it for a few hours. It will make it easier for me to work with. The straws have a good soak and we're going to get started. Using a paper towel, just draw out any excess moisture. Line everything up nice and neat. And you're going to have your skewer already stained and ready to go. Take a small piece of wire, any size you choose. and you're going to tighten it around the very base of your broomstick. It is tricky to do with one hand, but try and tie a knot in the wire and then wrap the wire around several times before you draw down the straw.
Once you've drawn down your straw, take a rubber band and anchor all of it together at the end. You're going to trim it. Put a little glue in the end and anchor your broomstick inside. Allow some time for the room stick to dry and anchor into the center of the broom. And glued nicely, you're going to take some wire and wrap it around the top of the broom and that will give it extra support. Trim any excess off of your broom and make sure you thread the wires through and tighten it down so that it won't come unraveled. Now we're going to take our stain and move on to another project. We have another broom handle. So this time I'm going to sharpen it with a pencil sharpener. And right now we're going to make a little push broom. Now this is squared off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down to the sander and sand it and give it just a slight angle. Finish staining the top of the broom, then we're going to wrap it with a little frame of duct tape. Plug in your hot glue gun and have it heat up while you complete the next step. We're going to glean some straw from the scrub brush. Put your hot glue in the well and add the bristles. When you think you have enough bristles filled in, give it a little trim. Put your handle in and you're all set. You have a little push broom. We're going to repeat this process with two small pieces of scrap wood. These are chopstick ends that I used when I was making the dining table. We'll set that little scrub brush aside and we're going to make a second one. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed our little project. Please like and subscribe, share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends and help me to reach 1,000 subscribers. I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.